So I guess this is it, guys. I guess this is the end for me. Psych! I know you guys are probably thinking like, oh, well, if Anime War's done, the Mass Star's done. No. I'm a super creative person. I am strong as hell. And if you think this, something like this is gonna stop me, me, me you think me. YouTube's gonna take me, me down? down? No. I'm good. All right, guys, so let's talk about it. Uh, Anime War has been blocked by Toei, and I know you guys have been wondering what's going on, what's the status, and obviously there's a lot to talk about. So let's talk about what happened. There's three different kinds of copyrights that can happen to your video. You can have a copyright claim, which means that the company is just taking all of the money from your video, but your video is still okay, it's still visible to the public. Then you can have your video blocked, and if it's blocked, that means basically it's just hidden from everybody except yourself. So I can even go onto my channel right now and I can still watch them, but you guys can't see them. And then the third kind is a copyright strike, which means that the video is taken down permanently and you have a strike on your channel, which can destroy your channel. So if you get three strikes, your channel's terminated, but even having like one or two can affect your monetization, your streaming and things like that. So what happened to Anime War was number two. It got blocked, meaning it's basically just hidden. And other than that, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good actually, like my channel is great. I'm, I have zero community guideline strikes, I have zero copyright strikes, and I'm good. I'm actually really happy. Like, surprisingly, when I saw, woke up and saw all the emails, the feel, first feeling that I got was joy, was that, oh my God, like, am I free? Like, is this really it? Do I not have to work on Anime War anymore? As you guys know, I've been working on Anime War for like four years, and for the last like two years, I've been completely and utterly miserable. I've been a shell of myself in the real world. My family and friends are like, what's wrong with you? You're always grumpy, you're always tired. Nobody really understood. They just thought I was working hard. Even like my mom, every time she'd see me, she'd say like, hey, what's new? And I'd say, not just, you know, just animating, you know, month later, hey, what's going on? What's new? just animating and it was like it was like that every single time I saw my mom for years and uh to be honest this is just such a huge weight lifted off my shoulders because the work itself was just psychotic it was just a completely stupid amount of work and it was fun telling my story but as I'm sure you guys are aware, there was a lot of crap that came along with Anime War. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Yeah, for millions of you, it was really fun to watch and you guys really enjoyed it. But for me, it was excruciatingly painful to constantly be working on this, to deal with all the criticism, um, and to deal with people just simply not giving my other content a chance because they just wanted me to work on Anime War. And this feels completely liberating to me. My channel's clear, so this is a brand new day. This is, I'm super excited right now. I'm super happy because now I have the chance to start making content that I've always wanted to make, but people wouldn't give me a chance to because they just wanted Anime War. So let's talk about what's gonna happen. Am I gonna appeal it? Is it gonna come back? Am I gonna show the final episode? I know that's the big question that you guys are wondering. Firstly, I don't think that this was a targeted attack. At first, I thought it was that Toei specifically was like, okay, let's shut down Mastar, but I don't think it was uh, for a, a variety of different reasons. So what happens is they hire interns to scout the internet and also they hire third party services to scout the internet and look for pirated episodes to just take down, right? Because their main enemy isn't some guy tracing and making anime war. Their main enemy is the pirates that are actually making them lose money. This has happened to me before and plenty of other Dragon Ball YouTubers. Whenever we make a long video that uses footage of, of characters in the show, we can easily get our video copyright striked or blocked. It happens to every single one of us, even if you're reviewing manga, it doesn't matter who you are or what you're doing, if you're using any footage from the show, the intern can easily just mistake your 20 minute video for an episode, not skim through it because there's millions of pirated copies of their episodes on YouTube and just take it down. So what I think happened for me specifically was they stumbled upon an Anime War episode, they blocked it, and because they went on that Anime War episode, they were introduced to the whole playlist and they just blocked them all. So a lot of people are like, are you just gonna finish it and put it on Facebook? Facebook's not safe either. Like Facebook has the same tools that YouTube does to take down content. And that's another reason that I don't think that this is some kind of targeted attack from Toei. But I don't know that for sure and I don't really wanna test against that. But the vibe that I'm getting is this isn't like Toei hates me, they want me to burn. I don't think it has anything to do with that. So if anything, it was probably like Toei saying like, hey Mastar, 
Yeah? Stop that. That's kind of what this whole thing feels like. The funny thing about all this is like, I posted on Twitter that Anime War has been blocked. And I wanted to obviously just inform my fans what's going on because a lot of them were tweeting me, hey man, where's Anime War? I can't find it on your channel. And so I posted that post to let them know what was going on. And then all of the trolls come out of the woodwork celebrating my demise. And I think this is the funniest thing. These SJW weebs with justice boners for tracing are all of a sudden getting all riled up and excited because they think that my channel's done. Dude, I have zero copyright strikes and zero community guideline strikes. I'm good. And for all you idiots saying that I'm gonna lose subscribers, I gained 10,000 subscribers today. So y'all are stupid. And the funny thing about these idiots is that their whole channels thrive on making videos about me and Anime War specifically, and just hate videos and criticizing videos. What are you gonna make videos on now? You guys are gonna die because your only content was about me. That's the funniest thing. You're literally celebrating your own death. Meanwhile, I'm good. I'm good. You're not, idiots. So moving forward on Anime War, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. I've basically been taking this week off, <laughs> just relaxing for a change, actually getting some sleep, spending some time with my family, and it's been really nice. Um, in terms of what I'm gonna do moving forward, until I get into the really good kind of content that I've been excited about making for like the last few years that I haven't made yet, I'm gonna continue doing some, uh, I gotta catch up on some manga, I gotta do some reactions and some reviews and things like that. But I do wanna transition into a new type of content, one that is far less susceptible to copyright. Us guys who review episodes and anime and manga and all this stuff, as long as we're showing like even one picture of the show, that company can always block or copyright strike your video. And that's just a pain that we just constantly have to deal with. I've been talking about this for years. Basically what I've been doing on my channel, my non-anime war stuff, as I slowly roll into the new kind of content, which is just probably still will be a lot of it anime focused, but it'll be more like real life stuff that is protected from against copyright. And as far as the final episode goes, I, I honestly don't know yet. I know the main thing here is from your perspective, Almost everybody, all my fans are like, dude, you gotta just finish it. Just post it anyway, post it to Facebook, post to Vimeo, post to Patreon. From your perspective, obviously, you're gonna want me to continue it and finish it. You guys get to just go live on with your lives and then boom, in two months, you get this episode to watch and hooray. But for me, I have to kill myself for two more months and face potential problems with Toei, which I want to avoid if possible. So it's like, I don't want to put myself in jeopardy, just, you guys have to put yourself in my shoes. Like if I was telling you right now, you, whoever's watching me through your phone or your computer, hey, I want you to put yourself at risk. I want you to work for me for two months and then put yourself at risk, but I'm not going to take any accountability if it comes to that, you're just off on your own. So that's, how I feel, like I have to look out for my family, putting myself at risk and my family at risk and my channel at risk is not worth it for me, but I do already have like 18 minutes of footage already done, maybe like 16, 17 minutes, somewhere around there. There's still a lot of editing to do, but I've still done like four months of work on the final episode. And obviously I don't want that to go to waste. So I still haven't really thought of like a plan yet. I mean, I have so many different options for what I can do. Um, I was thinking maybe just at least for the animators, like I feel bad for them, Fee, Etoil, and Janzao. They did these awesome cuts of Zeno, Zeno vs. Archon. So I was thinking like maybe I'll just release their cuts, say like Zeno vs. Archon, Fiendimation cut, Zeno vs. Archon, Etoilek cut, um, and just release those on my channel so that you guys could at least see some of the combat and some of the original animation that, that went on. As far as explaining how it ends, um, Maybe I'll just have to do a video like this and explain how it ends. I don't really know yet. I don't wanna tell you that it's never coming, but I don't want you also to just be looking forward to it still coming anyway. Um, and on that note, if you're a patron or you're a member of Matt, the Master Media channel, if you're donating and supporting me solely for the purpose of Anime War, please just go ahead and revoke your patronage or your membership because I know a lot of you guys were helping fund Anime War and if I'm not working on it, I won't. I don't wanna accept your funding. Anime War for the last four years has been a blessing and a curse. It's brought joy to so much people, but it's brought just an overwhelming amount of pain to me physically and mentally as a person. 
And I think that's why I'm so happy right now. I don't think this is like some kind of manic episode. Like I feel like joy more than anything. I feel like that weight has been just bre breaking my back for years and it's finally lifting off. And uh, I feel good. I feel happy and I feel excited that I'm going to get the chance to start working on the stuff that I've always wanted to work on. On that note, Demon Rush, I know you guys are going to say, oh, are you going to work on Demon Rush now? So in my spare time, yes. But Demon Rush is going to take an incredible amount of time and effort and money. It may not come out for 10 years. You know, maybe, maybe it's my mistake for releasing Anime War episodes so quickly, so long and so quickly. But real, authentic, original animation with original backgrounds um, all that stuff actually requires like a massive team of people, like a building full of people, which I'm not. And to create that on my own is physically impossible. And I've also completely burned myself out from drawing. Like I don't even want to touch the pen anymore. I don't want to touch the tablet. Now when I pick up this pen, I've conditioned myself to feel sick, like sick to my stomach every time I pick it up. And that's what every single day has been working on Anime War. So I'm not gonna just jump right into Demon Rush. Over 50% of my channel views, more like 70% of my channel views were from non-animated videos. I will be okay, just like Team Four Star, just like I said in my video talking about them stopping Dragon Ball Z abridged, they'll be okay. I'll be okay. But you know who's not gonna be okay? Them haters that just make videos about me because they don't have shit to talk about anymore. The great thing about all of this is, and one of the things to, to take a positive light on, is over the past four years, I have gained so much knowledge. I've acquired a lot of technology. Like I've been smart enough to reinvest in the business and not just like buy a fancy car or a house or something like that. Which by the way, someone's spreading this rumor that I bought my house that I live in with anime war money. I've been living in this house since before I even started YouTube. So many stupid rumors from these idiots online. Where do they come up with this shit? Anime War was never about making money. It was always about just telling my story. And I almost finished <laughs> succeeding in doing that. I think at the very minimum, I should at least just tell you guys how it ends and I'll have a standalone video for that. I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. I'm still not 100% sure. The future is a little bit unclear for Anime War at this current state. I can take everything that I've learned from Anime War and I can put it into really new, fun, exciting kinds of content that are copyright free. I actually get excited about, that I get excited about reading the comments that people will eventually come to enjoy. I'm sure there's still gonna be comments on every video I produce, where's Anime War? Because that's probably something I'm never gonna live down. Uh, and there's a variety of reasons for that, mainly a lot of non-English speaking viewers um, who won't understand videos like this. So guys, the future's bright. I mean, I'm super excited right now. I'm super happy. I now have eight hours a day to make fun videos. Now, <laughs> unfortunately, I really wanted like, I really wanted to move out to LA and start making content with other creators, but with the Bud Light virus going around, I can't say that word because I'll get demonetized, if you know what I mean. Uh, travel isn't looking so good right now, so I guess I'll have to, at least until that whole thing passes, uh, be making content from home like I've normally been doing. But yeah, just be on the lookout. I'll probably start doing like a video a day, honestly. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start doing a video a day for a little while until I am able to build up to my big fun videos that I'm excited for. Just be on the lookout, fellas. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Awarida!